Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be opening and assembling the the door the door number 18 for this year's Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar, which is Lego set 76418. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank um, Chris Wilcott for his kind comments on my uh, on on my Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar about the reindeer. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a Lego Harry Potter T-shirt. So, if anyone knows where I can get a nice one or anything like that, do feel free to add it in the comments, and I will I will definitely wear it next year when 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 I do when, when I do the calendar next year. But before we go any further, we'll do this is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. This is the drop down bit here with uh, with the um, Hogwarts uh, Christmas scene. We'll do a quick recap of what we got so far. So we've got Harry Potter, nice little Harry Potter figure here. Do quite like the hooded piece as well, that's quite nice. And it comes with a wand. There's been loads of wands in the bottom of this box by the time I have actually done this video, done this calendar. Door number two is the, uh, is the shop window display, which is quite cool. I forgot the name of the shop again, so but it's quite cool. It's got some jelly beans, a chocolate frog and a lolly. Door number three is the counter for the shop. That's quite nice. It's got like a popcorn thing in it and some and some cakes, which is quite nice. Put that here. Door number four is the wanted poster of Sirius Black. That's quite nice. I do quite like that. It's a quite nice little. It's got the white snow effect on it and. And it's got a nice sort of two by two tile on it as well. That's really cool. Door number five is Ron Weasley. It is bobble hat. So it's quite a nice little figure. Got another one of the magic wands. Door number six is the magic wand stall, which is quite cool. So it's got like some uh, some fairy ones and some um, more Harry Potter-esque ones, lightsaber type base ones, they're quite cool. Door number seven is the food trolley, dessert trolley, that's quite cool. Quite well designed, it's it's not the greatest build in the world but it but but you can tell what it is and and, and it and it works so Door number eight is the Hogwarts sign. Let's see if it... This is a nice little, just a sign. It's quite a nice little crispy thing, so quite cool. Door number nine is Hermione Granger. Quite a nice little figure. Do quite like that. Nice little, nice little um, beanie hat and hair combo piece. I think my daughter would like that. She's got her scarf and wand. Quite cool. So that's the um, Holy Trinity there from Harry Potter. So we should be looking for door number eight now, which is door, door, door number nine. My apologies. And I can't know that was door number nine. Mark. Door number ten. Sorry, I do apologise. A Christmas tree. A little Harry Potter Christmas tree, which is quite nice. So could be swapped out other sets as well. So that's quite a nice little thing to have. Door number eleven. I'm not as okay with Harry Potter as as I am with that with other media. So just please bear with me on this, or put a comment in one of my videos. An owl with the post, an owl and a post in a post box. So, and I think the little letter has gone more keys, unfortunately. See if it's fallen down here. Unfortunately, it hasn't fallen all the way down yet, so I don't know where that is. So, but there was a letter in there, but that's not the end of the world. But we'll, we'll just get on with that. So, there we go. Owl with the post box. See if we can find it. See if we can find it along here somewhere. Where the doors are actually open. Nope. 
it will appear, but there is, there is a little letter that goes in there as well. So door number 12 is a ice fountain. This, this, is, this is a nice little build, I do quite like this actually. It's quite decorative and very, it's a bit Christmassy as well, so that's quite, quite a nice thing to get. Door number 13 is Albador Dumbledore. Dumbledore, so which is quite quite a nice little figure to have. So he's got his glass for his butter beer there. Quite a nice little figure. It's got the big, uh, the w big wizardy type hairpiece, which is quite nice. No cape. It's just a normal, just a not. It's a nice little figure though. So door number fourteen is the bar table. This is a nice little build, uh, does work quite well for what it is, so. Door number 15. Is the butter beer barrel. This is quite cool. Do quite like that. Does exactly what it needs to be. You can't go too far wrong with it. And I think it's probably been used in the um, Lord of the Rings sets as well, if memory serves me right, the actual build itself. Door number 16 is a lamp post which is it is a quite nice quite nice little lamp post what it is so and considering Hogwarts is a bit old old worldy so that's quite good door number 17 if I can see it This is the third advent calendar I've done, so I should know where the doors are, but for some reason, my eyesight is failing me, so it's a very good reason for getting, keep getting your eyes tested regularly. So, yeah, door number 17 is Madame, I've forgotten what her name is again, I do apologise, but there, but there's her, that's, that's her, so it's quite a nice little figure. I do quite like that figure, that hairpiece is nice, and the, the jacket is nice, and she's got a goblet as well, so she can be, have a chat with Dumbledore. It's Madame Someone. I did I did look it up beforehand, but I'm not as au fait with Harry Potter as I should be. Um, I do apologise. So I've got door number 18, which is the main event on this calendar here, which is this one here. So we'll open up this up see what we've got. We have a food table. This is the this is what they resort. This is what you get in most of the Lego Advent calendars. I'm quite sure they got one Lego Friends and Lego City. They don't do one in the Star Wars one, luckily, but in the Harry Potter one, it usually ends up in there. Go and grab my scissors. They fall down here, or they've been moved. So the table is pretty much exactly the same. It's pretty much the same build as the one they used in the Avengers one, to be honest with you. It's just slightly modified, so you have a cream two, a cream two by two round base plate, a dark, a green two by two round brick. Find out where that goes, and then we have a dark blue two by two plate with a square with a with stud in the middle, a turkey leg or bird leg of some kind. Probably Phoenix or something like that. Probably not a Phoenix, this probably sacred, but a bird leg of some kind. And a cup with looks like got some liquid in it, which is actually quite nice, quite quite well made actually. You do quite like that. So we've got a little food table here. So make sure you don't leave your scissors out like that, like I just did. That's very irresponsible. So there we go. That's got a nice little table there. I do quite like that. It's um it's kind of what you expect from these advent calendars, but um, it is quite a nice little build, and and it, 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 if they did something very similar to the Avengers one as well, so they are sort of um, trying to sort of, um, you can see them almost cross-cutting, trying to keep the costs down on it. So you have only got five figures on this one so far, and a lot of builds, so, but it's a, it, but it's a Harry Potter one. Harry Potter ones are always slightly different. So, but overall, um, overall, that I'm I'm quite happy with that because that glass is quite good. It does it does look nice. 
So hope you hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you uh, if you have enjoyed this video, do feel free to leave a um, leave leave a kind or constructive comment in the feedback if you'd like a shout out. So stay safe, keep building. Oh, by the way, I am on YouTube, Instagram, Threads, and Facebook. So. So, so any so any support for the channel on there is always appreciated. Um, a like, share, subscribe on on YouTube is um, is usually the best one. But um, but like I say, any support is always appreciated. So stay safe, keep building, happy holidays, and hope to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.